Alrighty, gang, welcome back to more Trails of Cold Steel. We just tucked down a monkey. We just tucked down a monkey. And I'm pretty sure that was not a sand, and that was not a Dragon Ball Z Frieza reference. Okay, it was. Anyway, we are here to pretty much take a look at this teleporting device, which I already know is a teleporting device. Hey, it's a teleportation device. I would have never known that. We seem to have returned to the entrance, but we would just act the exit. This place really is nothing but mysteries. Man, once once the real world people figure out how to do teleportation, it's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. We we teleporting all the way to Florida in like two days. Like I'm trying to go to Ohio in like five seconds. All right, after work. All right, beam me up. Pew. And just imagine how useful teleportation would be practically. Like you could work anywhere in the world and just teleport back home. Oh, hi, I'm home. Long distance relationships will be a thing of the past, man. Like long, everybody would want a long distance relationship because of how cool teleportation is. Spatial translocation. Did you just say translocation? The sun's begin to set. We were there for ages. We should probably go give our report to the principal. Would you mind coming with me? Not at all. Let's go. Oh my god, it's Goto. Shimigami Tensei, bro. SMT, dude. This game is all... This game... You sure this ain't right, though? This is certainly unexpected. So the layout has changed completely since last month? I knew something was amiss there, but I had no idea it had progressed so much. Do you uh, know anything about the origins of those ruins? They look like they predate the school by, well, a lot. I'm afraid I can't be certain who constructed them, nor exactly how long they've been around. <laughs> but you are correct. They've existed for at least several hundred years before this academy was founded. All points, all signs point to their construction occurring some, sometime during the Dark Ages. Yikes. The Dark Ages? You mean the chaotic period that had begun after the Great Collapse 1200 years ago? Most of the ruins archaeologists have uncovered from that period are full of strange things. Some of which seem to have been made with technology we don't fully understand. We're talking magic, alchemy, with the inside of the building completely changing its layout. I have to say that's a new one, definitely not normal. Indeed, no such record of a phenomena exists. Man. We have a bona fide mystery on our hands, it would seem. I'll try to have a look around my place when I have the chance to get a choice. I would greatly appreciate that. Schwarzer Craig Wurzel. Thank you very much for all your hard work. There's no trouble at all. I'm happy to be of assistance. It's always good to help. If you're, please excuse me then. I threw you did pretty well. And it seems you're getting the hang of using your Arcus too. Combat links definitely did make our battles in the ruins a lot easier. It could prove a powerful asset if we're able to master them. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, just keep it at that. You'll need to be forming links with your other classmates eventually too, after all. And let me reiterate once again, you've all done well today. Especially you, Rin. I'll be expecting great things from you next time. I'll, I'll do my best. Do my best. Wait, what do you mean next time? Well, the way I see it, you're a natural at this, so why stop now? Aw, oh, come on. With how busy our poor student council president is, don't you want to do everything you can to help her out? Well, I guess I do feel kind of bad for her, but... Ah, fine, I guess. <laughs> That's Irene. I'll pass the good news to Toa. Oh, and the principal has given the okay for you to keep a hold of that old school house key. 
You're welcome to go poke around inside again anytime you wish. Okay. I'll be seeing you kids later. Oh my god. <sighs> Are you sure you're alright with this ring? Yeah, I'm sure. It's not like I signed up to any clubs. And as long as I don't wind up with too many more than I had today, I'll be fine. The, the old schoolhouse grind. I wonder if that just that's just gonna happen throughout the game where that place changes. That'd be cool. All schoolhouse mystery completed. Seal as a reward. Yeah. Receive one additional bonding point. Hey. I'm about to be out here bonding with with that uh weedo. <laughs> Dude, let me get let me get a an M-rated social link game where you actually partake in recreational use of marijuana. I would do that in the game all day. I don't smoke in real life. But I think that'd be a great thing to do in the video game. In the video game, you know. I got one additional bonding point, huh? Who, who can I bond with here? Uh, looks like I can bond with Elisa. I can bond with one of the girls, it looks like. Lisa or one of the girls. I think that's either Toa or Laura we can hang out with. Let's go to the student union. Wait, it would have to be Laura, because Toa she like she doesn't join our party. What's the point of boosting our social language? Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I'm interested in joining the swimming club. And I would immensely appreciate it if you could uh, spare a little bit of your time to help train me. Of course I'd be happy to help, but I'm not in charge of your admission into into the club, so there's no need to be so formal. We're, we're both new here after all. Wait, really? <laughs> really? I was totally under the impression that she was a second year. I didn't realize she was a noble either. I hope I didn't offend her. That does sound tough. I didn't join any club, so I just laze around reading comics all day. Hey, that's the life right there. All right, so Toa's here? She's in, I guess, the second room. Oh, look who it is. Practice came to an end largely without issue today. However, it seems as though cleanup duty is left to us first years, or perhaps I should rephrase left to Elisa. It would be foolish to expect a lady of my standing to perform such menial tasks, so I told my father that if I had to clean anything up, I would hate everybody in this school for days, and I would probably, you know, punch every little person on the team. So, um, yeah, he talked to the principal, and, uh, yeah, I don't have to clean up. Turns out your assistance was just what we needed. I'm just glad I could uh, take a little bit of weight off your so shoulders and stuff and, you know, yeah, George. Yep. If you need a hand, just let me know. You should head back to the dorms and get some well-deserved rest. Wow, we can hang out with Toa? What's the point? What's the point? Like, she's, she's not a party member. All right, so who are we hanging out with? Toa or Alyssa? What are we doing? What are we doing, chat? One for Toa, two for Alyssa. What are we doing, man? What are we doing? Two for Alyssa, one for Toa. All right, guys, so here we are. We're about to hang out with your girl, Toa. President Toa, good work today, Rian. Turns out your assistance was just what we needed. I'm just glad I could take a little bit of weight off your shoulders. I'm here to take the weight off your shoulders. Barrett Sangana, I'm amazed you managed to take care of all the, <laughs> take care of all that and investigate the old schoolhouse. Hey, Barrett said something similar in the new Final Fantasy VII remake trailer. So I'm just saying, man, if you need a hand, just let me know. My schedule is pretty flexible. 
I'll be at Thor's all year. Thanks. You should head back to the dorms and get some well-deserved rest. She still seems pretty busy. Are you still busy? I'd be happy to help you if you need a hand. I've already spent the day working, so uh, a bit more time won't kill me. Are you sure? You must really, you must be really tired. Don't worry about it. I can do a little more if it'll help you out. Thanks, Reen. That's really kind of you. Well, if you insist. Reen helped Toa take care of the day's paperwork. Once they were done, she treated him to some tea and some delicious, delicious crumpets. <laughs> Where's the crumpets, bro? What up, Kazuma? Finally, you had a lot on your plate. Now you can see just how busy the student council could be. There's just so much to get done that I always, almost always have to take work home with me and finish everything in time. Oh man, just to finish everything in time. Are you sure you're okay with this though? What do you mean? You said you help us out next month too, right? Trust me, you shouldn't feel obligated to help just because your instructor told you to. It's fine, I mean it. Besides, it's not like I'm not getting anything out of it. I can't let the chance instructor Sarah's giving me to go to waste. I need to branch out, try new things. That's the only way I'll figure out what I want to do with my life. Yeah, it'd be nice if uh, my teachers uh, let me do that. You know what I'm saying? But Reen, you know what? You go to a pristine, mean, clean school. So you're lucky. I'm going to be blunt here, Reen. Do you really need to push yourself like this? Huh? What? Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing your best, do your best, and helping other people out. I'm a big fan of both, but at the same time, it's important to take the time to just sit back and rest too. You need to have a balance, but says the girl that's busy 9,900% of the time. Because if you don't, there may, be, may come a time where when you want to work towards something important to you, but can't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is getting real huh, Toa. Sorry, wow, things got real heavy there. Uh, I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't be saying all this when I hardly even know you. But I don't want to see you hurt yourself by going overboard or anything. Because you're just as important as anyone else in this academy. Even if you don't realize it yourself. Thank you, President Toa. I was kind of worried about being able to do enough while I was here. But this is the kind of weight off my shoulders. That's good then. If you ever feeling tired, feel free to come visit me. At the very least, I'll make you some nice hot tea and we can talk things over. Roger. I don't think I ever met anyone with such a soothing personality. She's right though. Pushing myself too hard could really burn me out. She's right though. That was actually a nice little cutscene with her. Toa's pretty cool. You know what, Toa? You awesome. But I gotta reload this file so I can build my relationship with my party members. I'm sorry, Toa. I'm sorry. Oh, wow, she actually got on the horse. The view from up here is great. It'll take some time to get used to, but this is awful. That was rather impressive for your first time on horseback, Paula. I have high hopes. High, high hopes. <laughs> what do you want? I'm in the middle of something if you didn't notice. Wait, are you on cleanup duty all on your own? That's part of the job as our as new recruits. There was a noble girl here too, but she went home. Why am I even telling you this? I don't need to explain myself to you. Does it seem like she's going to be forgiving me anytime soon? I need to find the chance to apologize to her properly. Ah, this is actually the perfect time to actually apologize to her. All right, mind if I helped you out a bit? This seems like a lot of work for any one person to be doing on their own. I'm not gonna stop you. You better not try anything funny, though. I won't, I won't. I promise. It'd be funny if she just swung on him. <laughs> Sports clubs almost seem like they're more trouble than they're worth. First they set everything up, and then they go through a grueling practice, and finally everything needs to be taken down again. Hey! Oh, sorry, I was spacing out. Huh? That's right, don't let it happen again. Wait, what? <laughs> At this rate, I'm practically dead weight. I've got to make up for lost time. There we go. That should take care of most of it. But was she seriously trying to do all this by herself? She must be really devoted to this club. 
Um. Oh, sorry. I was I was in your way, wasn't I? I'll start cleaning up the other stuff. That's not what I meant. Why am I so stubborn? This was my chance too. I haven't cleared everything up. Rain waited for Elisa by the gymnasium while she changed back into her school uniform. Looks like we're done for the time being. Are you able to clean up the whole club room on your own? It's not like I would have let you in there either Either way. This is a girls club, remember? Right, good point. But you did help me out. Thanks. Huh? Can you say that with your chest? I didn't hear that. Nothing, never mind. We're done here, so go away. Oh, okay, see ya. That went about as well as a train crash. <laughs> hey, Green, don't be making fun of train crashes and the victims of train crashes. Wait, he's not making fun of it. He's not making light of it. I guess I'll have to kill her with kindness to get back on speaking terms. Way to let a perfect opportunity slip through your fingers, Elisa. We can't keep doing this all year. Alright, your bond with Alyssa strengthened. Yeah, boy! Give me them points. Give me them darn points. Why am I so stubborn? Uh, is there anything else you'd like the, me to help you with? It's fine, just leave me alone, dumbass. Well, I guess I should give up for today. You know, because, you know, I just don't want to, you know, tip her over. Don't want to tip the cow. Are you saying I'm fat? No, I'm just saying I don't want to, you know, make you angry. Nah, you were saying I was fat. Nah, I didn't. Come on, leave me alone. All right, so before we end off today, we're going to go finish up a hidden quest. We're going to go to uh, Kirch's Cafe and Inn and finish up that hidden quest we started like six years ago. There go my plans for a relaxing evening. Judging by that irritating voice, I'm afraid the pest outside is exactly who I think it is. So you know him? Just his name. Perhaps I should return to the dorm for the day. I'd rather not talk with him if I can avoid it. Oh man, this is bad. It'll take a while to get here, even if I order it now. Hey, is there something wrong, Fred? Fred the orange? He's even got orange head. Or orange hair. Based on the uh, red duds, I, I'm guessing you're from the new class at the academy. That's right, but uh, what'd you hear about the uni uh, the uniforms? Excuse me. Ah, yeah, we get students here all the time, so I'm always up to uh, date on the comings and goings and the comings of the school. You here to order something, dude? Not at all, man. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. You look kind of upset, bro. Like, dead ass. That's awfully selfless for a kid your age. To be honest, I've got a little stock issue on my hands here. By which I mean I'm all out of a certain seasoning. So now I'm trying to figure out what I should do. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm assuming you can't just swap it out for something? Well, I could, but uh, it'll make things taste different. I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything, but our food's pretty popular. Our food's a bit different. There'll be a lot of customers stopping by with a dish on their minds, so I'd feel bad if I used something else. Makes sense. So what's this secret ingredient you need? Passion leaves a rare kind of spice from Southern Zamoria. Zamoria? Brandon usually orders them for me. Probably wouldn't have ran out either. It's rare spice, huh? Nicholas from the cooking club. You know, that's a damn shame. I feel bad for the customers, but I'm sure they'll understand if I explain. Let's help them out. Mind if I talk to a friend at the academy about this? He's pretty knowledgeable when it comes to food. He might let me borrow some passion leaves if he has any, too. For real? For real? For real? Spam the for real emotes, please. Every time we see for real, we gotta spam for real. Don't get your hopes up yet. He might not have any. Small chance is better than none. I really hate to ask, but uh, can you uh, check with him for me? For real? For real, guys? For real? Hey, right, so we're going to the cooking club. The cooking club, the cooking club. Here, go speak to Nicholas. Nick the dick. Nick the dick. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's going on, man? Hey, Nick. You got? I got a quick question for you, man. 
Rain explained his situation and asked if Nicholas had any passion leaves. Passion leaves, huh? Sorry, I've cooked with them before, but I don't have any at the moment. Oh, thanks anyway. How else am I supposed to get a hold of these things? You might not want to give up hope just yet. Why is that? I don't have any myself, but the cafeteria just might. You think so? I believe I saw them using passion leaves in one of their recent daily specials. I was only one of this. Uh, I was. It was only one of the sides, so I'm not entirely sure. But the memory definitely sticks out in my mind. I just say chances are good that Ramsey still has a few on hands. Of course, Ramsey would have passion leaves, my dude. Thanks for letting me know. Time to go talk to Ramsey, dude. That's unbelievable. My dude can tell the ingredient just by taking one bite. Not really. I just eat a lot. You should uh, probably get moving towards the cafeteria. It'll be closing soon. My dude has a high metabolism because he says he eats a lot. But man, when skinny people say they eat a lot, that usually means they got high metabolism. Or they process food like way quicker. We gotta go to the student union. Ramsey. Everything in here is freaking bollocks. Bollocks? You're an idiot sandwich? Do you need something? You're not here to steal food, are you? No, of course not. Rin explained to Ramsey that he had been sent by Fred to look for passion leaves. I see, so Fred needs some passion leaves, does he? It just so happens I have some right here, man. Really? Yup, they're all yours, man. Passion leaf bundle. Thank you very much. By the way, how much do I... No payment necessary. That should be enough to last him a couple of weeks. If he finds himself running short again, he can just ask. I have more. I'll be sure to pass that on to him. Thank you again. I didn't expect him to give me those for free. He's not the most talkative person, but he seems like a nice guy. Yup. If you... Believe it or not, um... Ramsey is actually a pretty nice guy, you know, when you're not pissing him off and messing up food and making mistakes in front of his face that a toddler would make when it comes to cooking. You know what I'm saying? So we need to go to Kirsch's Cafe and Inn. I try to hit L3 like this was like Tales of Vespera. Hey, Fred, I got your passion leaves. No way. You seriously found me some weed? I mean, passion leaves? Yeah, I sure did. Here you go, man. That's what they call that's what they call passion leaves here, man. Now I can make those special brownies. I can't believe you actually got them. I owe you one, man. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you uh, leave a couple of uh, special brownies for me on the low, man. Yeah, you got me a ton, too. How much did all of these run you, man? Nothing, actually. I ended up getting them for free at the Academy's uh, cafeteria. Ring told Fred about his discussion with Ramsey. Ah, I didn't know Ramsey uh, smoked. I mean, uh, had a passion for passion leaves. I'll have to be sure to thank Ramsey next time I get the chance. I think he liked that. But I can't forget to thank you either. It's kind of flattering that you went through all the trouble just to get these leaves for little old me. And now. Our customers won't have to leave hungry and disappointed. So here, take this. It's nothing special, but I'd like you to have it. Crispy pizza. Mmm. Pizza. I can have all these? Any less would be criminal. Oh, yeah, I meant to ask. You're not part of the student council, are you? Not exactly, but I do help them out with their work from time to time. Why do you ask? It's just that they helped everyone here and trusted quite uh, over the bit, a bit of... <laughs> out quite a bit over the years. Excuse me. Seeing you try so hard kind of reminded me of their style. Huh. Well, that's why they get requests from everyone in town. They're like our personal problem solvers, man. Yeah, man. And we don't even have to pay them, man. It's crazy. I can vouch for both of those things after today. Yeah, sorry about the first. Uh, happy about the second. It's about time for me to get going. Good luck with the rest of the day's work, man. Yeah, yeah, you too, man. You pulled me out of a fire today, man. Yeah, man. See you on the flip side. I'll have those special brownies delivered to your dormitory room. Just tell me when Professor Sarah ain't there. Ah, oh, man, she don't care, man. I'm pretty sure she ordered those brownies, too. I saw her eating one the other day. Along with some drinking some booze. She's drinking booze and eating special brownies, dude. Sarah looks like she'd eat some special brownies all day. It's my off day? Hey, man, hook me up with one of those brownies. 
What kind of brownie? The passion brownies or the chocolate brownies? The passion chocolate <laughs> brownies. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> it's getting dark, so if I go to my room now, I'll be in for the night. Returning to the dorm during the evening on a free day causes the day's activities to end. Any bonding points which have not been triggered will no longer be viewable. No! Oh well. It's not my fault. Wait, what just happened? I think I said no. Turn it into the dorm. Play the Persona 3 Iwato White Dorm the dorm music. Y'all remember that dorm music? Just play that freaking old hip hip hop tune. You ain't gonna cut the candle though. Ain't no way you gonna cut the candle. bad but i don't think i can manage much more than this i guess i should just be grateful i was able to pass the beginner examination at all better do some studying it sounds like this is going to be a busy week what with that ominous practical exam looming over us put your booty in the trance i do have that radio from george here Come on, I'm gonna hear the Iwato I I'm I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna make that I'm gonna make that radio joke. Back home too. I'm gonna make that joke eventually in this in this playthrough. I'm gonna definitely play the P3 dorm music. Some point. At some point in this playthrough, y'all ain't gonna expect it, but it's gonna happen. Never knew they made them this small though. Let's see. Which station is Radio Trista? Ah, there we go. It's 9 p.m. and you're listening to Radio Trista. Welcome, welcome. Don't touch that dial, listeners. You found the right place to be tonight. Hey. It's time for the start of a brand new program here on Radio Trista, coming at you promptly every Sunday. I call it Aubin Time after the word for evening. Aubin Time? That sounds like, uh, Erica. Might be a little cliched, but sometimes simple is best, right? Cliches are cliches for a reason, after all. That's not Erica, right? That's not Erica Lin Lineback. Anyway, my name is Misty, and I'll be your host. What up, Misty? Who is that? Hopefully, I'll get to feature some famous guests at some That's point. So be sure you tune in every week, or you might miss them. You know, she's got a pretty nice voice. I know, right? This might be good to leave on in the background while I'm working. Slowly near the end of April. Here in Trista, the beautiful Lino flowers have passed their peak and begun to wilt. But wilting flowers are beautiful in their own way, as they serve to remind us just how fleeting this existence truly is. I'm sure many of our listeners are students, busy with the challenges of adjusting to their new lives. But what harm is there in taking a moment to admire nature every now and again? It's good for what ails you, I say. Misty. Is that Misty Knight? Is that Misty Night? Wow. Wow, we skipping days? Oh, hold on, I want those days, man. We can't be skipping days, bro. Hold on, give my days back. Hold up. <laughs> Yo, Academy Field. Oh, crap. We skipped straight to the practical exam. Okay. Let's get your practical exam started, shall we? Well. To be completely clear from the outset, this exam is about more than just testing your physical strength and stamina. It's designed to hone in on how capable you are of making strategic combat decisions on the fly. Hold up, sir. I need, let me just take a sip of this coffee real quick. All right, all right, all right. You can, you can continue talking. Defeating your opponent quickly is a good thing, certainly, but it won't be enough to score you high marks here. Huh. Interesting. So we're going to have to use our heads for this one, huh? <laughs> You'll see. Anyway, let's get this month's exam started, shall we? Reen, 
Elliot, Gaius, you're up first. Please step forward. Oh, right. all right, I guess. All right. Uh oh. Got it. We spent the most time together. This is a mistake. You can make any preparations you deem necessary before beginning the practical exam. Opening the camp menu will allow you to customize the party's equipment as well as save your progress. Hey, hey, hey. Practical exam time. We, we're we about to become Guinean, boys. This is what we become. Actually, not Guinean. We're about to upgrade. And I guess we're first years, right? So I guess we technically would be Guinean. Ba, ba. Crispy pizza mixed with fragrant mildly burned cheese. Ooh, mild, mildly burned cheese. Cheese is actually great. Cheese curds. If y'all ever had cheese curds, cheese curds are delicious. All right. So, actually, if I hung out with Elliot, I probably would have had his link to like the next level by now. So blur. It missed a time space shaking pulse. Conceal enemies. Real talk? Can that stack? Honestly, I'm gonna give him that. I'm gonna give him Forte. He's he's more of our support guy anyway, right? All right, so like soul blur, it misses time shaking. Oh, it, it can inflict faint. So it's like a passive thing that can inflict faint. It's kind of like poison, right? Unless soul blur is actually just an attack. Okay, it's actually an attack. Actually, let's do that. Let's do that. Cause not only do I get speed, I, I just get, you know, access to that faint. So that's pretty nice, I guess. All right. It's time for our practical exam. Dude, why are they jamming, dude? Why are they jamming in this game? Stop. Yo, man, y'all need to reel back, man. Cause I, I don't want to have to beat this game. If y'all make this game any more funny than it is, I'm gonna have to beat it. Like, for real. <laughs> All right, then. Here we go. You're fighting me. Whoa, that would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, what? It's just a machine. I was hoping for a, like a human fight, man. We'll take this out, no problem. What's that? A, a monster? Wait, how come they're not in their uniforms, Miss Sarah? No, I'm not sensing any life coming from it at all. That's right. Think of it like a scarecrow. Only it's a moving scarecrow, I guess. Either way, it's not alive. I've set its parameters fairly high, though, so it is formidable. What? But if you give it your all, I'm confident you can beat it. Probably. Make good use of your Arcus's combat link abilities, for example, and I bet it'll be a piece of cake. Hint, hint. So link, link, link. Oh, so that's what you're playing at. Let's get it, guys. All right, begin. This dude looks like a dick, though, like a mechanical dick. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on, jerk! Meet the following condition. No one is knocked out during the battle. My turn! Alright, let's try to get that. Let's first of all Analyze. Arcus, activate. Right. We're definitely going to resounding beat. Give it up, everyone. Here we go. Ha. I'll look at my ninja info cards. So slowing down seems to be a thing. Slow down. Um, things we can maybe rely on. Seal steel. 
We can still rely on... Well, we can't rely on poison. This dude's mechanical. We can't sleep him, can we? Yeah, 50% chance. Oh, he gives us you material. Slow down, we don't have yet, so... Leave it to me. Yeah, we probably want to make that link. A 50% chance of seal. Uh, oh, yeah. Now. My turn. My turn. We're gonna motivate. All right, let's do now this. I'm motivated. Good. Good. <laughs> it's time to motivate the, the crew. Yeah, he'd be My pushing turn. us back, dude. Alright, we're gonna do resounding beat. Keep it up, everyone! Get that extra defensive buff. Try to keep that up. Leave it to me. Yellow stinger. Yeah, thrust that. Open. Uh, does he move up or okay. He does go up to hit him, but. Yeah, that's a problem. Go! Nice. Right. I don't have any impeding nonsense. Can I just move out of this situation? Oh yeah, I can just move. It's my turn. I think your boy would still get hit. Yeah, it looks like he would still get hit somehow. And we're just gonna move him over here. Yeah, you can just move, dude. <laughs> Go. Oh, dude. Oh my god. It was that simple. I literally was overcomplicating that. I think. Uh, yeah, break him off a piece. Uh. All right. Yell Stinger. You already know what I'm about. Uh. Trying to get that sealed, baby. Uh, we need to restack that uh, defensive buff. Keep it up, everyone. I'm going to motivate. I'm going to restack that motivation. All right, let's do this. Right. Got it. Spirit bomb. It's How you missed the spirit bomb, my dude. Uh, oh, baby. Hm. All right, let's see. Don't need to put Forte on anybody right now. We can possibly sleep him. I mean, why not? Go for it. Nice. My turn. It's my turn now. Yeah, boy. Uh, go Another for a chance. slash. Uh, uh. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Oh, no. Nah. You know what? Yeah, boy, you there. thought you was doing something. Uh, and I'm out the way. Get out of no. here, boy. Impede there. that. And you getting stabbed for damage. You thought you was doing something. Well, here's another spirit bomb. Ooh, AOE. Right. Good stuff, dude. I appreciate your candor. But uh, I think you're done. I think you're literally Ruben. dead, dude. Uh. My turn. It's my turn now. Actually, we're gonna see if this works. Ah, oh, that would have been nice. Go! I think you're done. Yeah, we ain't gonna do that. GG! Okay, it's safe for now. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. 
Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Shake. Shake. Yeah. Shake my hand, dude. <laughs> and then out of nowhere. Oh, here comes a real boss fight, and I just die immediately. AP increased by one. Yeah, y'all see that? That's how you get it done. We won. See that? You see that, Laura? You see that, Shinji? D don't know how, though. <laughs> Not bad at all. That clap sound effect didn't sound like a clap, my guy. Excellent use of combat links, too. Seems like the practice you got in the old schoolhouse really paid off. <laughs> it just may have. Oh? Have those three been training in secret? All right. On to the second group. Laura, Emma, Eusis. Come forward. What a unique team. We got two sword users and a bow and arrow user. <laughs> Everybody looks like tired as hell. Yeah. Some people look more tired than others. <sighs> that was tougher than I thought it would be. It does seem like combat links are the key to fighting it effectively, though. That's rather unfortunate. Instructor, may I ask a question? What exactly was that marionette we just fought? Yeah, that thing was weird. Machine, maybe? Never seen anything else like it. Um, just a little something I got roped into working with a while back. I'd rather not use it if I don't have to, but I can't deny it serves as a valuable function. And it's rather customizable, too. I mean, it did its job quite well during our test, didn't it? So there you go. I get the feeling there's a whole lot she'd rather not tell us. Anyway, <laughs> that brings this month's practical exam to an end. Nice. But as you might recall, I told you I had a big announcement for you today, too. Are you all ready to hear what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's about a special part of Class 7's curriculum. Yo, we going on a field trip? Traveling? Where we going? Give up? <laughs> it's really bugging you now, isn't it? Well, I'll come clean. Field trip, the right? The special task you're about to be assigned is none other than... Field trip. A field study. Let's go. We can't be in this town forever. It's time to move on, boys. Field study? And girls. Oh, I don't like the sound of this one bit. <laughs> You'll be split into two groups, A and B, and each sent to a different location. Ooh, that's cool. Will, would I, will I be able to control both groups? And while you're there, you'll be given a number of tasks to complete. Doesn't that sound like fun? That actually sounds hype. Uh, we only just got to the academy, and we're already being sent somewhere else? Will you not be coming with us, instructor? Oh, of course not! It'd be much too easy for you if I were there to bail you out every time the waters of life came seeping in. You've got to be cruel to be kind and all that. <sighs> well, I'm certainly not opposed to a challenge if it allows me to advance my training. Instructor Valestine, where exactly will we be going, and when? Five months oh, from now. Yes, about that. No. <laughs> As I said, you'll be split into two groups, A and B. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these to see how the groups have been divided and where each is being sent. This is probably where we get mixed up with, like, different party members. All right, let's see who we got. It would have been truly cool if it was actually RNG. What? All right, we got Alyssa, Laura, and Elliot. Hey, Elliot's still on our crew. Emma, Machias, Eusis, Fee, and Gaius. Oof. Eusis and Machias. Oof. <laughs> Gaius, Fee, and Emma about to be hella annoyed. Sucks what? to suck. <laughs> well, these are certainly some interesting groupings. Keldic and Parm. Are they both in Erebonia? Yeah. Keldic's a market town on the east side of the Empire. 
and Parm is situated in the deep south. It's known for its spinners. Riding spinners, All that huh? way? How irritating. <sighs> I'm less worried about where we're going than the utter lack of sense that went into these groupings. <laughs> Unbelievable. You'll be leaving this weekend, and we'll be out in the field for two days' time. Hey. Your means of reaching your respective locations will, of course, be by train. So do make sure you're thoroughly prepared, rested, and rearing to go before the big day. Oh, this is lit. Let's get it. About to be traveling. About to be on this train. About to be on this train training, you feel me? <laughs> your rank's gone up. B6, a little huh? something from the academy. All right. Rank increased to B6. Received information as a perk. All right. Sweet. Received the information as a perk. Huh? Thank you for everything. Sweet. Okay. I got a report. Thank you. Thank you very much. Field study day, 6.40 a.m. Field study day, 6.40 a.m. Field study day, 6.40 a.m. <laughs> I still haven't been able to apologize to her. Hey, man, it's okay. See, hands off, man. He didn't touch her. Now we can't exactly avoid working with one another when we're in the same crew. Come on, man. Don't even worry about it, Rain. She'll get over it. Someday. I'm sure this is pretty <laughs> awkward for her too, so I really want to say something, but when am I going to get the chance? Uh... Morning, Elisa. Hey, Lisa. So you pronounce it like Lisa, but you put A in front of Lisa. Elisa. It's not Elisa. Elisa. Uh, morning. Hey, Lisa. You're, uh, early. We don't have to be here for another 20 minutes, you know. Like, you have to say, like, what, what kind of girl would you date? A, a Lisa? A girl named Lisa? No, Elisa? <laughs> well, the same goes for you. Uh, what time did you wake up? Around five, I think. Though, I always try to be up by then. Oh, uh, really? Morning practice? Oh, you haven't joined any clubs, have you? So, I guess not. How does she know that? <laughs> no, it's just a force of habit. I've gotten used to waking up early. You're in the lacrosse club, right? So I'm guessing you do have to deal with morning practice sometimes. Yeah, twice a week, apparently. I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. Well, why, <laughs> why are, are you, you apologizing? apologizing? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly interesting. <laughs> but no, I really am sorry. I knew it was just an unfortunate accident from the very beginning. I mean, I was on top of you. I just... I kind of lost my head, and before I knew it, I'd slapped you. <laughs> and you had your hands out like you were trying to catch me, right? So if anything, I should be thanking you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That trapdoor was obviously designed so we wouldn't get hurt from the fall. If I hadn't tried to play the hero, I wouldn't have been pinned under you, and none of this would have happened. Th there's no way you could have known that, though. No matter how you look at it, I'm the one in the wrong here. So, thank you for trying to protect me. No, I'm and in the wrong. Sorry again. I'm in the wrong. And it just starts a whole another argument. <laughs> no, it's... I, I mean, you're... Yeah, well, just squash it, Ring. Just squash it, bro. GG, shake her hand. GG. <laughs> GG. Hey. Sorry, I have trouble with these kinds of things. Mickey Mouse and Mickey Berries. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. My little sister is always getting on my case for being so easily flustered. Oh, you have a younger sister? Uh, that's a question for another time. I think I'm the same way. I've been trying to apologize for the past couple weeks now. <laughs> but every time I set my mind to it, I always just wound up avoiding you. <laughs> really? You did try to help me out in class last week, though. Yeah, gave me that answer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was that was the homie right there. She did a homie play. I was hoping that would give us a chance to talk. 
But even then, I just avoided you afterward. Still, I really did appreciate it. Because I surely did not know the answer to that. I was not paying attention to Edogawa. So, thanks again. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, anyway, we've safely established that what happened wasn't your fault, but the result of it is another issue entirely. Huh? The result? What are we talking about now? Oh, come on! You have to know what I mean! Huh? No. This is still in regards to the accident in the old schoolhouse, right? Right. <laughs> yes! Specifically, the part where your face ended up right in my... No, uh, come on! No, don't do this! <laughs> you know, and I forbid you from ever thinking about that, ever! Forget it ever happened! <laughs> Please don't do this! Are we clear? Come on, dude! It, yes, perfectly! Trying to avoid thinking about it is just going to make it harder to forget, though. <laughs> uh huh? Oh. oh, good morning. Good morning. A lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> you two certainly got here early. Looks like you finally managed to make up, too. Uh, well... <laughs> yeah, I think we're on good terms now. Thanks for your concern. Huh. I'm glad to hear it. It's been a bit trying watching the two of you simmer these past weeks. And I know Elisa has been desperate to apologize for her behavior this whole time. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa! That's only because <laughs> I thought it would be awkward for two people who aren't talking to work together in the same group. Don't go getting the wrong idea or anything. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my man. Look at Elliot in that gosh darn hat. My dude, top of the morning to your head ass. <laughs> well, as long as the two of you have smoothed things over, that's what's important. I... <laughs> <laughs> Looking pretty sharp there, Elliot. Now that we're all here, let's say we head out. Are you ready? The train's not due for a while longer. Are you ready to so ride on that train? That's, that's, the, that's the outfit you, you ride back in the day on the train with, you know? We can swing by a few shops and stock up on supplies before heading to the station. <clears throat> uh, the, that's a good idea, actually. The Academy's facilities are supposed to be open early today, too. Oh, that's perfect. We can make use of the Engineering Club's facilities before we head out, too. Shall we depart, then? All right, all rare quartz and accessories have been unequipped from the other group's members. So we only have to focus on the main group, which is Rain's group. The main group, Rain's group. Hey! So you know what time it is, right? We're about to get on this train. And everybody, I, I command y'all to get into y'all costumes. Hey, nice jacket. Looking fly. You still got the same skirt on, though. No, she, she actually changed his skirts. Okay. Laura. 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 White glasses. All right. She definitely doesn't want to get blinded at all. Brave. Cross weapon. All right, sweet. Ornaments. Let's go to quartz. Heat wave. All right, angel. Automatically recover from KO. Recover 10% HP, CP, activates once per battle. What? Automatically recover from KO once? I am I reading that right? That's a that seems too good. All right, we also have... Your girl is brave. Begins battle with strength raise. Ooh, that's actually good. I like that. Dude, that's actually kind of OD. Does she recover all her HP or does she only get like a portion of it back? Allows you to see data on enemies you on enemies yet to be analyzed. So that's basically yo. This is actually good, right? Oh hell yeah, let me get that. Let me get that info. The ninja info cards. Solar. Oh yeah, we gotta go open up some slots, man. Time to go open up the slots. I'm actually very tempted to use the DLC just to open up some of them slots, but you know what? Let's go to the academy. Let's go to the uh, engineering building. Hey, Toe is available. She's there. We can go talk to her. 
Modify slot can be open. Oh no! Damn. Dude, I need ice. Mm. Oh no! I can't open those slots because I'm missing like a specific thing. I need to get time Sabbath. Hmm, is there a way to actually like buy Sepith? Is there a way to get Sepith? Oh, dude. All right, I can't do anything with anybody. Well, it has already been opened. Oof. Oof, I can't do anything for anybody. Alright. So anyway, let's see if we can customize some stuff though. Already have that. Lambda rod, lambda burst. Plus three speed, men only. That's actually really good. I'm actually gonna get this. You're headed out on the field study today, aren't you? Man, it feels pretty good to see all this hard work finally paying off like this, huh? Never mind, it's nothing important. What is important is uh, making sure you're well prepared before you send you off. Yeah, man, if you need, uh, if you ever, <clears throat> if you need me to take a look at your Arcus, just ask, man. Oh, uh, man, you on some sus stuff, man. Okay. All right, uh, let's go to the student union to go say hi to Toa before we leave. Let's see what she has to say. What? She's in here, though. Oh, this is the gymnasium. Oh, my God, I'm lost. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go see. Let's go holla to you. Let's go holla. Oh, wait, that's the noble's room. This is not the correct way. I am not knowing where I'm going half the time. I apologize. I hear a dog barking, and I hate dogs. Well, I don't hate dogs. I just hate that specific dog that barks a lot. Good morning. You're here awfully early. Well, I've got a lot of work to take care of today, so I might as well get a jump start on it before lessons start. That's some real dedication. Oh yeah, you have a field study today, right? I'm sure it'll be hard work, but the instructors wouldn't send you out if it wouldn't pay off in the end. So give it everything you've got, and be sure to tell me all about it when you get back. We will, thanks for the support. We won't let you down. Do what you have to do and come back safe and sound. All right. Is there anybody else we can talk to? Let's actually go to the church, man. Let's go pray to the the gods. I can't actually work to the church. That's kind of sus. That's sus, bro. That's kind of sus. Oh. I think I already bought that. Sepith Mass. Let's talk to the book guy. Hey there, I knew you all be leaving early, but there's still so much strange to see. Any students awake at this hour? How about a book for your journey? Reading's a good way to make uh, to take your mind off of Rocky. Yep. So let's actually read a book. Apparently, these books are supposed to do something for us. Interesting. Can you only read each book like once? Yeah, nice. Read them books. I guess there's no reason not to read the books, right? This is Elliot. All 
Okay, sweet. All right, I mean, I'm like, I, I, I didn't have anything against Elisa. I mean, that's a, I, she, she just comes off as someone who gets angry quick. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I hate it, you know, Elisa for that. I don't, I don't think I can hate Elisa for reacting that way. I hope you have a good day, Smooch. Haha, <laughs> that was quite a kiss. Take care of Kurt for me, huh? They're all over each other. Ah, this has been a little habit of ours since we got married. It only makes me happy, though. I probably shouldn't show up at someone else's house this early in the morning. But I am anyway. I'm gonna clip inside the house. And it's gonna skip literally 13 chapters. And we're gonna wrong warp to the final dungeon. If I just clip correctly. There we go. I'm, in, I'm inside. I'm inside. No, I'm just playing. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, I really want something like that to happen. When, when, we got to play a game where that happens, and I'm like, yo, we just broke the game, guys. Oh, you're all from Class 7, aren't you? I've heard about your field studies. We've opened up the store earlier than usual just for you, so pop in if you need anything. Good luck with everything. Yeah, we appreciate it. She's so sweet. She's making me blush. Brandon's General Goods. Hey, man. I know you ain't talking to my daughter, bro. So who told us everything about there is, yeah, take it, make sure you're fully stocked. Wow. Okay, I need eggs, right? Damn it. Yo, you know what would help really right now if I could find a, uh, Revives on KO with HP ones, but breaks afterwards. So that's a rebirth doll. Crisp onion. Let me get that. All right, so let's actually open up the recipe book. Hope this turns out okay. <laughs> this is my specialty. Hey, warm egg soup. Delicious. Cheers. A whole bunch. Well, we, we can't make that by itself. Oh, okay. Okay, let's give this a try. I didn't mean to do that. Hmm, there we go. I didn't mean to do that. So we gotta buy more eggs. Let's buy a whole bunch of eggs here. Let's buy like eight. Man, you, damn, there's some expensive ass eggs, man. I'm just saying. Mills cook. Who are we cooking this with? All right, let's get started. Well, that turned out well. That turned out all right. I'll do what I can. All right, Laura, this better be good. Mm. No. Simple omelet. All right. So we can make stuff with certain people. Like if they have like a smiley face, they have a high, uh, a higher chance of making like, I guess, specific stuff, right? So how much does that actually sell for? What we just made? Ah, oh, it only sells for 80. So we can like try to make something that like sells for like a higher price than what we made it for. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna see if what we can do. Turns out okay. <laughs> this is my specialty. Warm egg soup. All right, let's get started. I'm, I have a feeling that she can make something else. Well, that turned out well. Maybe. Well, this turns out okay. We're gonna sell like a couple of those warm egg soups. 
<laughs> I'm still like two of them. I'm trying to see like if I can get a recipe. Damn, that didn't sell for anything, man. See, like if we can find like a recipe we can make right now that gives us head ass amounts of stuff, bro. Hold on, let me save the game really quick before I waste all my resources. I, kn I know it's there, dude. I know it's there. I know it's there, dude. It's like I'm trying so hard to find it. I'm trying to find the momentos, the, the mo, the cheap money. I'm trying to find that money, dude. I'm trying to get that money making thing going. I know it's here, B. I know it's here. So we need. Is that a recipe? No, that's a meal. Alright. Hold on, let me let me just try. I, I, don't, I don't I let me find it. I don't want anybody telling me. I, I have to find it. I have to find it. I'm gonna just sit here for days until right, she possibly started. makes a second option. Like uh, another idol maybe. Well, that turned out. I don't think she there's gotta be something here. There's gotta be something else here. There's gotta be something All right, here. Let's get started. <laughs> this looks delicious. Soft and fluffy omelet. Is that it? I don't think that's it. That's not it. That is definitely not it. Here, we're just gonna try to find it. I just gotta be something here, dude. I, I, I wanna check out that last item. Maybe I can't... I have to find another recipe, maybe. Does each character just make mm. something different? I'll do what I can. That came out rather well. Well, maybe I should just cook with him, because it looks like she just made it too. This turns out maybe okay. he just has a higher chance of making different stuff. <laughs> Warm is... egg soup. Hope this turns out okay. <laughs> Hope this turns out okay. Turbo mode actually speeds this up, by the way. <laughs> This turns out okay. Ooh. Okay. If that third, I I, I want to know how you make that third one right there. So I, what I was trying to do, what I was trying to do there was seeing if I can like buy cheap ingredients, make food that sells for a lot more than what we actually spent on the ingredients to make that recipe. So it costs 20 egg or for, for an egg for an egg right now For an egg we need 20 No, it costs like 40 for an egg, right? The dish the omelet sells for is we, we make like a 20 net profit. I think So, okay fresh egg costs 40, right? and one And one of these coarse rock salts is 20 so that's 20, right? And if we make the simple omelet with Elliot, okay. we can make, not the simple omelet, but we can <laughs> cook with him and this get the warm egg soup. And that sells for 80, right? Yeah, we, we, yeah, we get 20 mirror from that. Hold on. Wait, wouldn't that take forever unless I can make multiple at a time? Can I make multiple egg soups at a time? Can I make multiple recipes at a time? Oh baby, did we did we get it? Did we actually get it? Did we get it? Hold on. Let me just buy 10 of these and 10 of the other ones. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Just give me some free money, fam. Just give me it. Just give me some free money real quick. Just give me some free money real quick, dude. I just want I just want some free money. He making that money. He making that money. Cooking it up in the kitchen. Cooking it up in the kitchen. Make it meal that's nutritious. Make it meal that's delicious. Cooking it up in the kitchen. 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 Make me some fries. Make me some chicken with some rice on the side. <laughs> Cooking it up in the kitchen. Oof. Hope this turns out okay. Free oh. money, man. <laughs> Literally free money. Oh God, that's oh man, delicious. All right, I think I'm done. I think this is more money than I need at this point. So let's just get ready to go to the new location. How about that, bro? I'm pretty sure we just like we put the general goods store out of business, but we have stimulated the economy elsewhere. Gosh, damn, dude. All right. So we're going to save our game, take a break. Uh, once we come back, we're going to be heading our way towards the new town. I think we're going to the market, the center of like, we're going to some marketplace, right? Not a marketplace, but the city of merchants or something. It's going to be OD.